let's do the equation of an ellipse. Now, before we do the equation of an ellipse, see, consider this particular ellipse. Now, what you have, you have the x semi major, semi minor, you know everything. But is there a relation between the semi major, semi minor, and one more very important, which is the focus? Do we have a relation between A, B, and C? That's a very, very important part in an ellipse. Let's try to do this one. See, what we have, you have an ellipse. Assume that two points. So, here, let's take one point or before that. So, let's do one thing. So, from here, we draw one point like this. Assume that this is one of the foci or foci. Say, this is F2. Okay, now, with the same thing, what we are going to do, we are going to take it on this side. We are going to take it like this. So, this is going to be F1. Now, what we have F1 and F2? <coughs> so, this is B. Correct? What is F2 and F1? F2 is C, 0 and F1 is minus C, 0. Correct? From the center. See, vertex, center, they are pretty much one and the same. Okay? But in some of the books and some of the cases, you might see that the vertex is this point of an ellipse. This is also one of the vertex. They'll say these are the two vertices of an ellipse. Okay, so in different books, they will have different words and different meanings, but pretty much the overall meaning is one and the same. Clear? So from the center of the ellipse, which is the origin, so if you take, so this is 0, this distance is C, this distance is minus C. <clears throat> Correct? Now, what do we have? Say this is B, point B, this is point A. Fair enough. Now, OB distance what we know. So, OB is equal to B. OF1 is equal to C. Or you can say minus C. Alright. And OF2 is equal to C. That means, BF1 is equal to root of B square plus C square. Hypotenuse, right? For the right angle triangle, which is O. B F1. Same way, B F2 will also be equal to root of B square plus C square. Isn't it? Now, according to the definition of ellipse, what do we have? B F1 plus B F2 should be equal to some constant value. Isn't it? So, according to the definition of ellipse, B F1 plus B F2 is equal to 2a. 2a is the length of the major axis which is always equal to bf1 plus bf2. So, this is the definition of an ellipse. Clear? So, bf1, this is, what do we have? 2 into root of b square plus c square is equal to 2a. 2 into cancels. So, you get a square is equal to b square plus c square. Correct? Now, now this is one of the important derivations, more than derivation, more like a relation what we have. A square is equal to B square plus C square. Now, with the help of these things, we'll calculate what is the equation of the ellipse now. Clear? When it comes to equation of the ellipse, see, there are two types of ellipses. See, these are the two types. Now, in the first type, this is type 1 ellipse, okay, and this is type 2 ellipse. See, in type 1 ellipse, x-axis is the major axis. So, this is the major axis. Okay. So, this is the major axis and y-axis is the minor axis. Clear? Suppose, if you take the second type, here, y-axis is the major axis and x-axis is the minor axis. Alright, so these are the two types of ellipses what we have. Now, we are not going to do the derivation for both, but we are going to do the derivation for the first type. For this one, we are going to derive. Clear? How the equation is going to be and why we get that equation, all these things we are going to derive. Anyway, in this one, it's very easy. What we are going to do is, see, you know we have two foci. You have F1 and F2. Any point P which is on the ellipse, PF1 plus 
pf2 you know this is equal to 2a the constant we'll make use of this one and we'll calculate clear so let's start with the derivation now you have an ellipse now this is f2 f1 some point p x comma y now what do we do you join pf1 pf2 okay now p is x comma y and what is f1 and f2 see you know that f1 is equal to minus c comma 0 f2 is equal to c comma 0 correct so now we'll use normal distance formula nothing else okay very very simple very easy so when we do p f1 plus p f2 is equal to 2a now what is p f1 root of x plus c whole square plus y square plus root of x minus c whole square plus y square is equal to 2a this is first thing now see you can't directly square it so what you do you transpose this to rhs start like that that means what we are going to have we are going to have root of x plus c whole square plus y square is equal to 2a minus root of x minus c whole square plus y square so we'll keep it like this now what do we do now we use square on both sides square on both sides so what do you get now x plus c whole square plus y square is equal to 4a square because 2a whole square right 4a square plus x minus c whole square plus y square next minus <laughs> 4a into root of x minus c whole square plus y square because x square see a square plus b square minus 2ab right so you are going to get this y square y square cancels out then expand x plus c whole square if you do that you are going to get x square plus 2xc plus c square is equal to 4a square plus expand this x square plus c square minus 2xc minus 4a into root of x minus c whole square plus y square x square c square x square c square gets cancelled make sense transpose the 2xc to the other side so you will have 4xc is equal to 4a square minus 4a into root of x minus c whole square plus y square see here divide everything by 4 4 will get cancelled isn't it the next thing what do we do xc is equal to a square minus a into root of x minus c whole square plus y square correct now again we need to transpose and square it one more time okay now what we are trying to do here first thing what do you do is you take this root part and you are going to transpose it here take the xc part you transpose it here okay you do that that means a into root of x minus c whole square plus y square is equal to a square minus x into c square on both the sides so when you square a square into x minus c whole square plus y square is equal to a power 4 plus x square c square minus 2a square x into c clear now what we'll do we'll try to change it in a different way okay so one way is divide the lhs and rhs by a square if you divide lhs and rhs by a square you will get x minus c whole square plus y square is equal to a square plus a square x sorry you have x square c square 
by a square minus 2xc. Fair enough. Expand this. You will have x square plus c square minus 2xc plus y square is equal to a square plus x square c square divided by a square minus 2xc. Cancel of the minus 2xc. Square on one side, you have x square minus x square into c square by a square, correct, plus y square is equal to a square minus c square. So, whatever we have, we just transport both of them, isn't it? See, once you transpose both of them, take x square common, x square into a square minus c square by a square plus y square is equal to a square minus c square. Now, if you remember we did a square is equal to b square plus c square, right? So, what is a square minus c square? b square. So, we will substitute that here. We will substitute. That means x square into b square by a square plus y square is equal to b square. Now, what you do? You divide by b square. Okay. If you divide by b square, you will get x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Correct? So, when you do this, this particular equation what you have, this is the equation of an ellipse. Okay. x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. This is the equation of an ellipse with x axis as the major axis. Fair enough. Now, if you do the same thing for y axis as the major axis, okay, then you are going to get an equation as x square divided by b square plus y square divided by a square is equal to 1. This is for the next one. Remember, very important here is a is greater than b. And here, b is greater than a. This is how we differentiate between the two ellipses. Major axis along the x-axis is x square by a square plus y square by b square is 1. And major axis along the y-axis is x square by b square plus y square by a square is equal to 1. Fair enough. And this is how we are going to derive the equation of an ellipse.